in this video we will be discussing about the cleavage in humans. It is a highly coordinated series of mitotic divisions that occur right after fertilization, increasing the number of cells without increasing the cytoplasmic volume. We see when we get the formation of zygote after fertilization, this zygote is driven into mitotic divisions that gives us blastomores, then morula and then blastula. All these cleavages occur in between zygote and blastula stage. And it must be noted that cleavage involves three important signaling pathways, WNT pathway, notch pathway and MAPK signaling pathways. Now let's see the cleavage process in detail. Here in this diagram we have the female reproductive system having ovary, endometrium, vagina and uterus. From ovary we get the ovulation as shown in the diagram where egg is released from graphene follicle, then captured by the fallopian tube shown in the diagram. Then from the vagina, the sperm travels to the egg and fertilizes it, and after fertilization we get the zygote, which is then cleaved into two cells, so called two cell stage, followed by second cleavage into four cells, followed by third cleavage into eight cell stage, and then finally we get this eight cells cleaved into sixteen cells called the morula. So these are the stages of cleavage. Then from here it is transitioned into blastocyst with inner cells and outer cells. But this blastocyst formation is not a part of cleavage, so it won't be discussed here. Furthermore, if we get into the details, we see first we have the ovulation, where egg is released by graphene follicle captured by pembery into fallopian tube. Then we see if sperm is available, we get the fertilization process where male and female pronuclei fuse to form diploid zygote. Then from here cleavage starts. First zygote is cleaved into two cells. And it must be noted that we do not have a G1 or G2 phase. That means all mitotic divisions won't change the cytoplasmic volumes. Then we get the second cleavage where we get the four cells followed by third cleavage where we get the eight cells. But this cleavage is asynchronous division. So we have 8 blastomers here. Polarity proteins such as APKC, PAR3 and PAR6 establish apical basal polarity in outer cells, whereas inner cells lack polarity. It must be noted that compaction begins from here. That means cell to cell addition starts by the help of E cadherins. So finally we get the last cleavage of these 8 cells into 16 cell stage that is termed as morula shown in the diagram. Even morula can reach 32 cell stage also. That's why morula is called 16 to 32 cell stage also. Then from here we get the ZGA, that zygotic gene activation, which transitions morula into blastocyst. We see at the end of cleavage, we get various activities turned on. First is the ZGA, where full genome control is established followed by expression of lineage-specific genes like CDCX2, OCT4 and GATA3 genes. And then we have the activation of HIPPO signaling pathway in inner cells, but deactivation in outer cells. Now furthermore, let's get into the what type of cleavage we get in humans. In humans, cleavage is characterized by being holoblastic, meaning the entire zygote divides completely due to the low yo content. The division pattern is rotational, where the first division is meridional and the second is a mix of meridional and equatorial. Third point is cleavage occurs asynchronously, so not all cells divide simultaneously, resulting in an uneven number of blastomores at times. Up to 16 cell stage, the cleavage is intermediate, with each blastomere retaining the potential to form a complete embryo, highlighting the totipotent nature of cells. Additionally, human cleavage is slow, with each division takes approximately 24 hours. Here is a table summarizing the timing of cleavage in humans. First we see zygote, that's day 0, followed by first cleavage, that's 24 to 30 hours after fertilization. Second cleavage is 40 to 50 hours after fertilization. Third cleavage is 58 to 72 hours after fertilization. Fourth cleavage is 96 hours, that's day 4. And then there is morula formation, that's 96 to 120 hours, that's day 4 to 5. 
then there is blastocyst formation that's five to seven days so these are the steps with approximate timings so this is all about cleavage i hope you like the video if you like it give it a thumbs up do consider supporting my work on patreon or youtube and make sure to subscribe to this channel thanks